Just a quick video on how to build your own decontamination chamber uh, with coronavirus. I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, did some research, found out that UV light destroys the DNA code to bacteria and virus. Uh, so I built a chamber, had this box sitting around, uh, got online, I bought a UV light bulb for around $9 and the lamp itself for about $15. Uh, basically just screwed it into the top on a board and ran the cord out the top and uh, created a UV decontamination chamber. Uh, going through the store, I saw a bunch of people pulling this, uh, stuff off of the shelves and looking at it, putting it back. So um, basically just wanted something that when I bring things into the house, I can decontaminate them easily without sprays and wiping everything down. Here's another look. I painted the inside uh, a light color to help reflect the UV light. Basically, um, just take this um, UV box and you place it over the top of whatever you want to decontaminate. Um, as you can see, it's uh, a good size, but you could probably build it any size you want. Um, put it over whatever you want, plug it in, and um, let it set. Uh, the UV light can be dangerous. Uh, I'm attaching some documentation from a government website I found, but you want to avoid direct contact with the light. So here I'm just checking to make sure that no UV light is spilling out. Um, I probably shouldn't keep looking at the light, but you can see that it's bathing everything in a nice strong UV uh, light. The, bu the bulb itself is a germicidal UV light. Uh, you just unplug it and um, take off the box, um, the chamber, and there you go. Everything after 40 minutes should be virus and bacteria free. Uh, it's pretty portable, so I'm going to keep it by the front door, uh, but I can put mail, I can any boxes that come, I can just throw them in there and let them decontaminate. So the world is changing. I know probably people think I'm freaking out and I'm, I'm overreacting, but uh, the way I look at it is better safe than sorry. thought I'd pass this along to anybody else who might want to try to build one.